this is the Broken Ukulele, and welcome back to Nerd Stuff. Today I'm going to re be reviewing the Titan Iron Man figure off Infinity War. So, um, here comes, let's just start with the articulation. Barely any head movement. Okay, yeah, 360, but it's hard. Very tight ratchet. A tight chin ratchet. Tight neck ratchet. 360, although that is interrupted by this pack. Um, wrist swivels. Legs go like that. Like that, like that, like that. So, without the pack thing, this figure would be terrible. So, I'm just gonna. So, the pack thing comes in three components the electronic thing, the repulsors, they're called. I won't go through all the sounds, just some of them. I have a plan. Attack. Attack. Gun blast. Stay down. Stay final down. Warning. Final warning. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And charge him up. That's all I'm going to do, unless I accidentally press it. Um, I have a lot of complaints with this figure. It is very, very bad. Also, you can do this. He will knock down your camera a ton. You can also do this. Um. Anyhow. He looks nothing like he did in Infinity War. Um. His chest is average proportions, not heroic proportions. He's got way too much silver on him. He's. They forgot to paint here, 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 and here. So that was very lazy by whoever created it, I forgot. He, he has nowhere near enough gold paint. The, f the figure doesn't stand too well. Let me test it on the floor. This, it doesn't stand well at all. This pack thing is terrible. Why could, could it not, could it?